Okay, let's say you updated the prices on your Clover inventory app and you want those same prices to be updated onto the website. So let's say you change the price of the of the chicken or the beef gyro plate and you made it to $13.49 and on the Clover inventory, but you want the same prices here. So what you would do is you go on the back end, click on Clover orders and settings. And then once you do that, click on import inventory and then do a manual sync. Press this button one time. And then press this one one time. And then press this button one time. This will do a complete manual sync just to kind of cover all bases in case you also change the price for a modifier. It will update that as well in case you change the price for a category. Not the price, but the actual name. It will update that as well. And then update the pricing and uh, information related to items as well. Okay, and let's say you want to change the store interface. Click on store interface here. And let's say you want to <coughs> you want to check out store interface 3. Click on it one time. Press save changes. And then go to the order online page. Press refresh. Okay, see now we've got the new store interface and the new prices. So you can take a look and confirm with your Clover station or your Clover device. It will have the same prices now. Okay, and that's how you do that.